channel um, Brandon and I are currently at the Oregon coast specifically at Cape Kiwanda and it's one of our favorite places to go and this is our first time at this hotel we're staying at the inn at Cape Kiwanda and I'm gonna show you a quick tour of this place we got the two queen size bed but we're using that one as our like catch-all this little TV over there fireplace Brandon and the little dining area <laughs> And then they have this big dresser. It's pretty cute. And I put all my stuff in there. Random stuff like snacks and cider and yeah. This little mirror. And then they have this little kitchenette with the fridge. Microwave which is so nice because... A lot of hotels don't really have microwaves because they want you to buy their food but they're nice enough to have a microwave look at the cute little sink and then here's the bathroom lots of counter space and yeah that's that's about it but the most exciting part is this is the best part the view that restaurant is ruining it though. We're in the second floor. There is a third floor, so the third floor will get a better view of the rock. But the beach is just right there. Look at it. It's so nice. They have a little patio over here with the chairs. Ocean and a rock. So nice. So we're going to walk around and try different places. I really want fish and chips. That's what I'm craving for. I really want a good chowder, good clam chowder. So are you excited to be here? Yeah. What are you most excited about? For it not to be windy so I can find my drone. For not to be windy? So I can find my drone. Yeah, we Sandwich. tried to go and have a little like a relaxing time when we put the mat down, but it it got really windy. The sand was blowing in our face. That's yeah, how you know so it's, that's how you know it's too windy for my drone. The sand's blowing in our face. Yeah, so we were only there for like 30 minutes. I couldn't even read my book because it's just so windy. I'm excited to just walk around and check out some stores, food, more coffee shops. There's a, a coffee shop like right below us, like literally just below us. So we got coffee this morning. We're gonna explore and be tourists here and we'll take you along. All right, let's do a fit check Wearing my brown puffy jacket my Relaxing is productive crew neck sweater black blue lemon leggings and my What's it called hiking boots it's your hiking boots boots it's like your style. Those are like your. Yeah. Those are like your style. And my North Face green 
beanie. For the Blaker style. Okay, what about you? Um, black hoodie, blue jolly pin jacket, blue lemon pants, and then just hiking boots. Let me show you one real quick. Okay, that's his fit. All right, my turn. I didn't get to do my whole thing. <laughs> All right, it is lunchtime and I got the, I guess I got a double cheeseburger and we got fish and chips. Fries, right? Huh? Fries, right? Yeah. We used to double and bacon. Oh, did I, did, did I say double? You I don't said, even remember. You said double the first time. Oh, my and bad. Then, then you said bacon. <laughs> and then, I guess. And then you didn't tell them no fries. I'm like, okay, I don't mind extra fries. But yeah, I'm excited. Yum. I just took a nap, but I didn't. Um, we've been relaxing in our hotel. I read a few chapters, and so far it's pretty cute. Um, not sure if I like it yet. I mean, it's cute. I don't know. It's not a Colleen Hoover book. Maybe that's why I'm like... <laughs> I'm so used to reading Colleen Hoover books that it's just weird reading someone else's book. But it's cute so far. And I journaled. It was raining earlier, like not raining hard, but like not. Um, it's like misty, light rain. But now it's not raining. Um, so we're gonna go out there to the beach again. It looks. This is a view, by the way. If only that restaurant didn't block the view, then it would be perfect. I am still full from earlier. Are you still full? Fine. I had a double and I didn't know that I ordered a double with bacon <laughs> So I'm pretty full. We still have the is it cod? Mm -hmm. cod and then we still have some, some cod and stuff in the fridge So we're gonna have a small dinner tonight Also the prices here the prices on the Oregon coast, especially like the the well-known like Cannon Beach Cape Kiwanda um, the prices here, especially because we're in the tourist area, it's pricey. It reminds us of Kodiak, Alaska, where we're from, because it's pretty expensive there too. And we got coffee today. The coffee expensive. <sighs> the food's expensive, but it's it's okay. We're we're relaxing. It's our little getaway, and we're only gonna be here for one more night. Much better. We are gonna go get pizza. I'm excited. It's already dinner time, 5.30. And we've been relaxing, just enjoying our time here. And we watched a couple episodes of Modern Family. We're gonna get pizza, chill, drink some cider, watch, and then go to bed. I am so excited. Got the pepperoni with pineapple. Turn more lights on. Oh yeah. No, it doesn't work. Decided to dig in. Good morning, everyone. We are still at the Oregon coast. It is 7 a.m. Brandon's gonna fly his drone because he didn't get two yesterday. No one here. Yeah, barely anyone here. Look at that.
the birds. Can you see that? The lighting right now is so beautiful. I don't even know if you could hear me because of the ocean. You guys, I can like, I don't even know. This is so nice. All right, we're finally home, and we're gonna go grocery shopping though. We're gonna go to Trader Joe's, because look at our empty. It's literally everything empty. <laughs> literally. <laughs> it's just sauces and an energy drink. I know, and then. And like hum hummus is a sauce, and then we have some vegetables. Oh, should you pull this out, or no? Um, do you wanna eat that tonight? We wanna eat No, tonight. maybe tomorrow. Oh, maybe tomorrow, yeah. But we're gonna go to Trader Joe's. And relax because I mean I drove. yeah Brandon I just drove, drove. Hours. but and I don't like long drives I hate long drives so I feel sluggish so I can't wait to just like come back home after Trader Joe's and just like chill and relax and I feel like I'm gonna go real well now but I'm like I feel so sluggish but we're gonna go so that way I could come home and just chill. <laughs> So here is a Trader Joe's haul. Got avocados, onions, Greek yogurt, two of them, um, eggs, whoops, teriyaki chicken, this is so yummy. These pizza, this mini pepperoni pizzas. We got two hot and sweet jalapenos, a uh, vegetable panang curry, we got chickpeas, vegetable pad thai, chicken, mini chicken tacos. We got pita bread, buns. And then we also got some, like Thanksgiving stuff, loaves of stuffing, chicken broth, turkey or gravy. And then this fried onion thing and cranberry sauce. And then got sriracha sauce, turkey, this creamy tomato basil pasta sauce, pineapple salsa, got macaroni pasta, fettuccine, <clears throat> the mini turkey meatballs, um, Kung Pao chicken, and cheddar cheese. So that's our Trader Joe's haul. We've been home for a while now and I I am currently editing this vlog, but right now I'm doing like rough cuts, but I wanted to take a break and answer one of these questions. This is the let's get closer. If you've been watching my videos, you know I've been recently loving this let's get closer product and this is from Intelligent Change. I have a discount, discount code if you are interested in getting it, but I just feel like maybe in my videos I should start asking questions because I love deep, deep conversations. I don't know, maybe you can fill in like your thoughts whenever I ask these questions. So let's do the green color. <laughs> okay, it says, when and why did you last cry? If you want to answer that, you can. Okay, that's better. Here it is. There's a question. If you want to answer it, answer it. Comment down below and answer it. I do remember like tearing up this morning. Do you ever just like look at a beautiful, beautiful view and you just get emotional because you're just so grateful to be there and so grateful to experience and see that beautiful, beautiful view because I, I'm such an, I'm very emotional and a sensitive person. When I look at like any beautiful view, like today we're at the Oregon coast, the, the lighting was so nice. The sun hitting the ocean, just like you see the ocean, it's just so nice. Some people have never seen the ocean before and that just blows my mind. I just got emotional because I'm like, I feel, I felt very, I felt privileged to be able to be on a beach. So privileged to see a beautiful scenery in front of me because I grew up in an, on an island. So I was always surrounded by the ocean and you don't really like, you don't understand how privileged that is 
until like you're older and you move somewhere else because honestly if i was if i never left kodiak alaska like if i never left the island i would probably assume that you know i don't know it's just normal right it's a normal thing because that's, that's all you know i remember thinking about like my students because sometimes we do the, do this like true or false thing and sometimes when we play that true or false especially towards like when they're lining up waiting for their teacher to come it'll be a random question like you you've been to the beach before and if you if it's true you touch your head if it's false you touch your shoulder and a lot of my students have never been to the beach they've never seen the ocean and it's crazy because we live an hour away and Brett and I were just having this conversation coming back from the Oregon coast and talking about how like some people have never seen the ocean like our some of our students have never been to the beach and we're just talking about you know it's a privileged thing because some people probably can't go to the ocean can't go can't drive an hour away because gas costs money right maybe there's only one person in their household that only works and they have to be working all the time so the kids won't be able to do adventurous stuff like that i guess that part got me like teary-eyed because it's just like i'm just like i just felt very grateful i'm like trying not to tear now because i'm like thinking about it but anyways that's the last time i guess i teared i didn't like bawl my eyes out but it's just like very emotional I am going to watch some YouTube and I will catch you guys later or maybe tomorrow. We're going to go to the movies tomorrow, which I'm really excited about. It's been about because it's been so long since we've been to the movies, but I've been talking too much. So I will catch you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. We are going to go to the movies. I'm excited and hopefully it's good. The, the trailer of this movie was very emotional yeah black panther wakanda forever so two hours and 41 minutes that is long this is what i'm wearing wearing my I'm wearing mostly black today because why not it is super cold out so i'm wearing this hollister jacket and then i'm wearing my converse I will let you know, we will let you know if it's good or not, or if the movie's good. What is your rating? I don't know, I'm sure, I don't know, it's hard to, it's, it's pretty good. It's definitely, yeah, it's pretty good. It's, but it's, um, I cried in the beginning of, of like, you know, where they're showing yeah. Chad oh, and yeah. there's like silent, right? So they, it's no, like they, a, they took away the music to make it more like, yeah. so you don't have to like, they don't want to make you feel emotion. They made you, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? They want it to like. It was good that they did that. It made it more meaningful, I feel like. Exactly. At the end too. Which, I know. At the end, so they did two, two silent, you know, moments where it's more like. I liked it. It makes it so you don't have to like, you know, the music's not trying to, it's not about the music, it's about the pictures, right? Mm -hmm. And just like, um, memories with him. If you haven't watched it, you should. It's, it's good. I thought it was good. That's yeah, pretty good. I feel like there's gonna be a third one. There usually is. A third one? There's usually a third one in Marvel movies. So. Think about uh, all, all, all of at least three. Maybe in three years or something. Honestly, three years. She's probably gonna. She's probably gonna be in an Avengers movie before that, or around the same time when the third Not one comes true. out. Yeah, we're gonna go home and then I wanna. I'm gonna eat a little bit. I just got back home. I'm gonna do some journaling and start reading this book. I'm gonna end the vlog here. So thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and like this video and I will see you next time.